Don't settle for lackluster AI-generated content any longer. Embrace the power of Adobe Firefly's text effects and witness a new era in AI-driven creativity. But is it all it's cracked up to be? Follow along as I answer this question and reveal so much more. My name is Ashley and creating mind-blowing text effects is my passion. Don't forget to subscribe to Embattled Tuts Plus for more free courses and tutorials. Let's get started. The advancements in technology have led to the rise of artificial intelligence, also known as AI, which has made significant progress in several industries. One of the areas where AI has made a tremendous impact is the creation of visual content. Images generated by AI utilize both machine learning and artificial intelligence. The process is initiated by a computer in response to a text prompt. AI algorithms are trained on vast amounts of data, which allows them to learn patterns and produce a wide variety of unique visuals. It is quite impressive how AI is able to imitate human creativity and produce such images. However, there are also drawbacks to this technology. Allow me to take you on a journey to explore how some AI image generators create subpart images. First up is Folder. Folder classifies itself as an all-in-one photo editor for easy editing and better design. So I decided to give its AI text effect generator a try. Voter gave me five free credits to use their AI image generator before I had to buy more credits, which I liked. When I entered the phrase, the letter C covered in chocolate as a prompt, the generated results did not match what I was expecting. I tried typing in a bunch of different things to see if I could find what I was looking for, but still no luck. The results just weren't cutting it. My overall analysis was that the text effect portion needs a lot more improvement, but if I wanted to create a simple like fantasy world image, then it's great in that aspect. Next is Dolly. In the realm of AI advancements, Dolly has emerged as a remarkable innovation in the field of image generation. Developed by OpenAI, Dolly utilizes artificial intelligence algorithms to generate unique and realistic images from textual descriptions. Dolly was super easy to sign up for and to get started. Dolly does require you to buy credits before using its generator, though. I started off with a simple text prompt like a rainbow letter S. I wasn't happy with the results, so I decided to try something different, like the letter Z in the shape of a zebra. And let's just say this wasn't what I was expecting. I thought that the results would be more 3D more than 2D, so I included the word 3D and it produced better results. I assumed the results would be 3D without me having to type that in, but I guess not. All in all, the initial text effect results reminded me of clip art, but let's see if Midjourney can do any better. Midjourney is an innovative platform that combines the power of AI and the creativity of its users to create custom images from simple text prompts. At its core, Midjourney is a Discord server that offers an AI image generator. So after signing up on Discord and subscribing to a Midjourney plan, I now had access to the Midjourney bot on their Discord server. From here, I selected a newbie channel and started to type the image command. I decided to go with a simple text prompt like the letter E covered in cake frosting. The mid journey bot takes about a minute to render a result. I've noticed the time it takes to render is so much slower than the other generators I've used, but I was pleased with the results. 
Let's try one more. Three little pigs in a straw house with a bad wolf. Overall, I felt like I had to jump through quite a few hoops just to access the Mid Journey Bot on Discord. As this being my very first time signing up on Discord, I can easily see how someone who is new to this process would get confused on how to access MidJourney and would rather go to a different AI image generator that's a bit more straightforward in the whole sign up process. Also, this may be due to just Discord's interface, but the customizations left quite a bit to be desired. Your only options were to upscale or create a new version. Now, let's look at how Adobe Firefly is making waves with its own text effects generator. With Adobe Firefly, anyone can create beautiful visuals without needing advanced design skills. Its user-friendly interface makes it easy for beginners to use. Powered by AI, this tool generates images that are tailored to your specifications and preferences. You can customize the style, colors, composition, and other elements of your image with just a few clicks. Start off by going to firefly.adobe.com, select Generate under Text Effects. Here you will notice a grid of pre designed sample text effects that you can customize. Or, you can create your own by typing in a text description. Let's start off with a text prompt. I will type in something simple like neon text on a brick background. The generator will take a few seconds to generate four options. You now have the option to adjust your text effect using various presets. Under match shape, you can choose whether you want your design to be constrained by the shape of the text or extend past the shape. Settings include tight, medium, and loose. Under the match shape section, there is the font option. This section offers a limited selection of pre-chosen fonts for you to select from. Lastly, we have color. Here, you will be able to change the color of the background and your text. In this instance, changing my text color really didn't have any effect on my text effect itself. I would like to explore Firefly further and experiment with additional text effect prompts. Here, I'm going to type out the letter T, and for the text prompt, it will be a metallic toucan covered in feathers. This isn't bad, but you can see some imperfections along the beak here and at the top and around the feathers. Now let's try getting a bit more specific. I'm going to type out 1980. And for my description, I will input solid chrome text with a retro 80s feel with light flares. Okay, this generated some pretty cool results. Let's Take it up a notch. I will now input the letter U and type in pink cotton candy clouds covered in green sprinkles and popcorn. This is interesting. I'm going to click over here and select loose and change my font to Cooper. If you wish to modify your design without utilizing Adobe Firefly's presets, you can download the file. However, please note that your image will be marked with a disclaimer indicating that it is not intended for commercial use. Once you have downloaded the file, it can be opened in Adobe Photoshop. From there, you can experiment with the colors using adjustment layers and add backgrounds that were not included in Adobe Firefly. So, now that I've given you an overview on how to create AI images using Adobe Firefly, let's talk about the limitations. One limitation would have to be the commercial use disclaimer. 
as a freelance designer with clients. I have reservations about using Firefly. While I'm constantly seeking ways to streamline my workflow, I believe that using Firefly could potentially be more detrimental than beneficial. For the time being, I will continue to utilize it strictly as just a source of inspiration. Next, I have noticed that Adobe Firefly's font selection could use some major improvement. The options available are quite limited and lack variety. This could potentially deter creatives from using this AI image generator. Lastly, I encountered a limitation with the beta mode. To achieve the desired outcome, I had to refine my text prompts over and over. The output on the screen was vastly different from the idea I had in my head. Despite these limitations, it's worth noting that being in the beta stage means there is room for growth and improvement. With user feedback and subsequent updates from Adobe, we can anticipate these limitations being addressed over time. But will I continue to use Adobe Firefly's text effects generator? My honest response is mm, no. Earlier, I mentioned that I will use it for inspiration, just like the websites I visit, such as EmbottosTextPlus.com. Envato has a vast collection of text effect tutorials crafted by skilled designers from around the globe. Additionally, I will continue to use Envato elements and acquire design assets without having to worry about the commercial license because all of it is covered under one simple, single commercial license. Another honorable mention I would have to say would be Dribble. Dribble houses a community of creatives that share their work. It's a great place for not only text effect inspiration, but it also serves as a place that will keep you on trend with the latest designs. If Adobe were to implement major updates to the beta version, such as enabling commercial usage or allowing for downloaded images to be edited in Photoshop through like layer styles or a similar feature, I would consider revisiting it. However, for now, I will continue to rely on Envato and Dribble for inspiration and make my text effects the old fashioned way from scratch in Photoshop. Although Adobe Firefly may have some limitations, it can serve as a source of inspiration and a starting point for designers. By making a few improvements, Firefly's text effects can be the go-to destination for creating impressive text effects. If you found this video to be helpful and I'm pretty sure you wanna see more, go ahead and consider subscribing and also hit the like button as well. And don't forget to click that bell icon to be notified of any new videos. Thanks for watching.